I am a woman. I am a woman. I am a woman. Who has been hurt by men. Our wounds need to be seen and to be healed. I am a woman who has hurt men. Who has hurt men. Who has hurt men. Who has hurt men. Men's wounds, too, need to be seen and to be healed. I dream of a time when we can truly empower ourselves by owning our part of the mess and bring an end to the cycle of hurting and blaming. I begin today. I begin today. I begin today. I begin today. Today I stand here as a woman to offer all men my deepest apology for the hurt that we as women have caused you. I see how painful it must be to be seen as potential rapist and abuser of women and children only because you're a man. And how painful it must be that your sexuality is hardly ever seen as sacred and beautiful. I want to apologize for all the mixed messages you get from us women when we do everything we can to seduce you and then end up blaming you for being too horny and only wanting to have sex. Most of the time we don't teach you anything about our own sexuality. We don't stand up for our own needs and desires and we expect you to guess and give us what we need. Instead of being authentic and real, we give you a sexual performance, even faking orgasm for you. And then we blame you for our sexual frustrazione. And punish you with our moodiness, spite and withholding sex. I deeply acknowledge how much stress and performance anxiety this confusing sexual behavior can cause you. I am aware that in our frustration and hurt, we empower ourselves by making you small and speaking of the masculine with contempt and disrespect. I'm aware that often we seek to covertly dominate the masculine through manipulation. We have learned to play the game to give the masculine ego what it wants so that we get what we want. Instead of being loyal to ourselves and our boundaries, and asking honestly for what we want. For centuries, women have abused and castrated you. As mothers who abuse the unconditional love of their children. To meet their own unconscious needs. Who emotionally abused their sons. Instead of dealing honestly with the lack of love in their own partnership. You taught their boys not to cry. You told them that strong men don't show their feelings and thus taught you to hide the most alive part of your being. I feel the weight of your uncried tears in my heart. I apologize for the lack of empathy you then encounter with your partners and wives when we suddenly want you to show feelings and understand ours. In reality, we love your energy. We love the dance between the male and the female. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. I honor your power, your clarity, your decisiveness, and focus. And I honor your vulnerability, your tenderness, and pain. I honor your courage to be there with both. That is what truly attracts me. That is what truly attracts me. That is what truly attracts us. I bow deeply to the divine masculine that is needed on this earth as much as the divine feminine. We want to commit today to supporting each other as sisters and being more conscious in our relating to men. We wish to dissolve the destructive patterns between us so that we all, both man and woman, 
can unite with awakened love and power. Let us invite the balance and peace on earth we all so deeply deserve.